Hey everyone, this is Ryan Olson, recording exclusively for nettouchplus.com. This screencast is on TextMate. Why TextMate rules, that's why. So one of the things we all know and love about TextMate is snippets. I mean, come on, it's the ability to insert, create your own easily editable code fragments that with a couple of keystrokes can save you hours of time. Yeah, that's awesome. One of the ways to take that to the next level is by creating what I like to call stackable snippets. I totally made that up like an hour ago while I was driving home, but I like it, so I'm going to use it. Feel free to do the same. We know if we wanted to create something as simple as a rounded corner, we would give border radius Now I'm using this as an example because there's so many variations on what we can do with the borders. Uh, round them all the same, each one different, just the top, just the left. That's why I'm picking border radius. So also notice that there's no WebKit anymore because as of this screencast recording time, WebKit was kind enough to drop the need for its vendor prefix and go with the standard border radius. So. We want to make a snippet for this because it'll save us a lot of time. So how do we do that? Control Option Command V will bring us into the bundle editor. Because we're going to make and making a few, let's go ahead and create a brand new bundle that I'm going to call Stackable. Doesn't matter what you name it, so feel free to do so as you wish. And once you have your new bundle made, go ahead and create a new snippet. I'm going to call it Rounded. Get rid of everything inside there and go ahead and paste in what we had initially wrote over here. Assign it a tab trigger, such as round, and give it a scope selector, source.css, if you only want this to appear when you're in a CSS file. So now hitting round, and it's going to give you what you just typed. Saves a bunch of time. We can improve this a lot. Head back into the bundle editor, and we're going to replace this number 10 with a dollar sign, open brace, the number one, colon, a number that doesn't mean anything, and then close the brace. What this does is tells TextMate, here's the start of a variable, the very first tab one, and to highlight everything after the colon before the curly brace. It's going to make this a tabable, editable field. We're going to come down here and assign dollar sign one as another variable that will mirror whatever's entered here. Make sure the bundle sticks and come back, type in your quarter, type in your tab trigger, and you can see now that 10 pixels is highlighted, and if we change it, it'll mirror down below. That is sweet. Let's keep going. This is awesome if we want to round every one, every corner the same size. What if we want to round just the top? There's a lot more that we need to write. So instead of changing it, I'm going to create another snippet that I'm going to call round top. Once again, delete everything inside there. Now I have already created this, so I'm going to simply copy and paste it in, and we can see what happens. Once again, I create the first one to be an overwritable variable to create a variable that will allow that to be overwritable. It's going to mirror once again down to each other property. So whatever I type in for the top left radius will then duplicate for the top right of Mozilla and the, both the tops for the standard one. Sign the source CSS once again, and in order to create the stackable part, we're going to give this the same tab trigger. Why? Because now when we hit tab, we're going to have two options. We can either round every one like we did before, or we can round just the top, and it will still mirror itself. That is getting cooler. You know what comes next, right? Sometimes we need to round just the bottom. So, well, start by spelling it correctly, and create one for the bottom. Once again, I created this already, so I'm going to paste it in. And now you know what's happening. Variable, tab stop, overwritable. CSS, give it 
the trigger of round, hop into here, tab it in. You can now see that we can do each corner the same. We can do just the top or just the bottom. And voila, we now have that working for us. This is all well and good, but we can make it better because sometimes the corners, they can't be the same size. We need to have a special one. So one last snippet we're going to create, and I'm going to call it round each. Get rid of all this, and I'm going to paste in what I already typed out so that you don't have to watch me. And what this is going to do is the same general idea. We're going to create the number one is the first tab stop that makes this overridable. You already know this part. It's going to mirror, mirror, mirror. And then the two is going to be the second tab stop. So as soon as we finish overriding the 10 here, it'll duplicate itself to there. We can tab into the next set and set the right side radius for the bottom right ones. We tab after that into the top left and the bottom left. Tab the fourth time to finish it out. And then each one can have its own radius. Add this final one to our stack. We can round each one, top, bottom, or now each. And we'll see each one will come in and have its own option. Number six, I tab into the second one. I'll give that one a nine. Tab to the third. Tab to the fourth one. And I wonder what that would look like. But we can see now, instead of having to write all of this, we were able to change it down to six keystrokes. So please, take this idea, expand upon it, make your own snippets, and save yourself bundles of time. See you next time.